the marvelous payment, the blood of Jesus. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study, 180 seconds of pure Bible study, Monday through Friday. We're talking about the marvelous payment of Jesus' blood, and we're, we're beginning by looking at the character of God, and we need to have a balanced view of the nature and the character of God. And yesterday we saw the idea that God is a holy God. He's pure. There's no imperfection in Him. Now, we also need to understand that He created humanity to be in fellowship with Him, but sin destroys that possibility. We, we see the idea, you know, sin separates man from God. And we see that idea in Genesis chapter 4. Cain worshiped God. Now, sometimes people say, no, Cain didn't worship God. Yes, Cain worshiped God. He just did not worship God as he had been authorized. He did not worship God acceptably. We know that Abel did because Hebrews 11 and verse 4 tells us that his sacrifice was acceptable because it was offered in faith. But Cain... He separates himself first from God, and then, because God even says to him, he says, Cain, if you do the right thing, you'll be accepted. But Cain wouldn't do that. He became angry. He killed his brother. He separated from his brother. He separated from his God. He separated from his family. And ultimately, he separated from the rest of humanity. That's what sin does. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2 talks about the fact that sin separates man from God. What a horrible reality that that is. Romans chapter 3 and verse 23 tells us that this is a problem that every accountable individual deals with. When I say accountable, I'm talking about people who have the intellect, they have the age, that they can understand these things. And the text says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And you think of the glory of God, the absolute perfection of God. None of us measure up to the perfection of God. And that limits us from having a relationship with God because He's perfect and He, can't, he cannot have fellowship where sin exists. Now let me just say this before you say, well, it's hopeless. You need to understand how hopeless it really is. But there's hope. There's hope. Ephesians chapter 2, the great chapter about the grace of God, begins by saying, and you were dead in your sins and your trespasses. Yes, without God making a payment for our sin, we are hopeless. But praise be to God, He made that marvelous payment of the blood of Jesus. Join us again tomorrow.